Hello everyone, myself Asim Ali and I'm a mechanical engineer and I have been a professional trainer for the last two years and today I'm here to record a brief demo on HVAC. So let's start. So before talking about HVAC, first let me explain what is MEP because uh, people have a lot of confusion uh, between HVAC and MEP. So let me start with MEP. So MEP is a mechanical, electrical and plumbing and in short I can say these are building services and in this building services uh, you will find list of services but the major services you can follow on screen here the first is HVAC and this comes under mechanical and E is electrical and uh, under MEP uh, electrical is uh, E and next is the plumbing so plumbing also comes under as a mechanical service and even the fire pit also we are considering as a mechanical service so in short all together this four services we consider as MEP and if you are dealing with the HVAC means you are dealing with a major building service which is a part of MEP. Okay. So if you talk about any service, first we will deal with the design, uh, then uh, we will deal with the drafting, then we will talk about estimation and finally installation. So before dealing with the HVAC or any service, first let me explain uh, what is designing and why drafting is required and the use of estimation and finally why we take care for installation. So here in this slide, First, we'll talk about designing. So, designing in short, I can say planning, calculation, uh, decisions, etc. So, for example, if you talk about HVAC, uh, load calculation, duct designing, pipe designing, etc. This uh, this belongs to designing. It means we'll deal with the load calculation and we'll deal with the duct calculation, pipe calculation, etc. So, all the calculations comes into designing. All the planning comes into designing. But after completing the designing, then we require a systematic sketch which is required for estimation and installation so that we can call as a drafting uh, manual calculation is almost outdated so in actual practice uh, we are dealing with the drafting using CAD software and the most common uh, CAD software is AutoCAD so after preparing this systematic sketch using the CAD software then estimation so estimation means I'm not talking about the cost estimation I'm talking about the metal takeoff so how much metal is required in order to start the fabrication of duct in order to deal with the piping or the machine installation etc all this we cover in estimation. So, in estimation, in short, I can say metal takeoff, how much metal is required in order to deal with installation. And after this estimation, finally, we'll think for installation nothing but the site execution, like installation of uh, children, installation of uh, pumps, uh, installation of other uh, service equipment like electrical panels, like uh, plumbing fixtures, etc. Hmm. So, if you talk about any service, not only HVAC, if you talk about any service, the first we'll take care for design, then we'll deal with the drafting. In drafting, we have a single line, line drawing, then double line drawing, and we have a this list of drawings like design drawing, shop drawing, uh, as well drawing, etc. So we'll discuss this in detail in the next session. Next, uh, in esteem, uh, next we'll talk about estimation uh, for any service. The next option is the estimation, the like metal takeoff. Then finally, we'll think for installation, nothing but site execution. So with this information, let me start. What is HVAC? So here on screen, you can find HVAC uh, means what heating, ventilating and air conditioning. But in order to understand what is HVAC, first let me introduce a standard society called ASHRAE. So ASHRAE is an American Society of Heating, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineers. And this society deals with research and development for the HVAC including R means refrigeration. And this society is dealing with the research and development including the survey and based on that they are uh, dealing, uh, they are dealing with the standard course, they are dealing with the uh, the values which we are going to follow uh, at the time of designing and all this you can find in ASHRAE handbook. So at this level in order to understand what is HVAC, so at this level in order to understand what is HVAC, let me introduce home and comfort standard. So based on ASHRAE, uh, most of the people feel comfort at 76 degree Fahrenheit. So here you can find, so it's not a fixed temperature, uh, we are considering this as a standard. Later we'll discuss the range also, the comfort standard range. So at this level, most of the people feel comfort at 76 degree Fahrenheit or 25 degrees centigrade. And if you talk about relative humidity, uh, in the range of 30 to 60 percent is okay for comfort and most commonly at the time of uh, calculation will follow 50 percent standard. So now we got the set point, 76 degree Fahrenheit for comfort. Based on this, we can define the heating. So why heating is required? So here you can follow on screen. Uh, heating is is a process. Heating is a process of providing heat in an internal space to maintain desired temperature in winter. If the temperature less than the standard, 
less than the standard already we have the temperature set point say 76 degree panel for a particular location for example if you talk about western countries like uk us canada australia in most of the time the temperature is less than the standard that is 26 or uh, 25 degrees uh, centigrade or 76 degree Fahrenheit. so if the temperature less than the standard we are dealing with the heating okay uh, next we'll talk about ventilation so ventilation in short i can say providing fresh air but for what for example if you if you switch on the ac uh, for example a split machine and closing all the doors and windows and after some time the oxygen available in the space will consume by the men as per the meta metabolic activity we are taking the oxygen and releasing the co2 so after some time the co2 level increases and o2 level decreases and that causes discomfort for women. So fresh air, the first purpose of fresh air is to maintain the oxygen level for human comfort. And apart from this, when you take the fresh air in, for example, uh, for example, if you if you consider uh, some amount of air from outside, for example, you consider this as a room. And in this room, I'm providing some amount of fresh air, say 300 CFM. CFM is a cubic feet per minute, it's a flow rate of air. In, in short, this is just example. So how much fresh air? Suppose fresh air I am considering 300 CFM, that much should be exhaust. Hmm. So first we are introducing this fresh air in order to maintain the oxygen level. And when you take this fresh air in from outside, that much should be exhaust. So exhaust air should be again say 300 CFM. So we are maintaining this oxygen level and with the exhaust, we can also maintain the quality of air by exhausting the air. So when you exhaust, the fall smell given by, given by people uh, due to the sweat and the smell due to the internal compressed like carpet, furniture, etc. can be exhausted. Hmm. So in short, I can say providing fresh air to maintain the quality of air is called ventilation. And this ventilation will directly affect to human comfort if you provide less than the standard or if you provide more than the required, it will directly affect to initial and running cost of the product. So this is important and it is in separate V in HVAC. Okay, next we'll talk about air conditioning. So air conditioning is not just cooling because many people think that air conditioning is just the cooling. But in order to deal with the air conditioning, first you need to maintain the temperature. No doubt by adding the heat or removing the heat as per the requirement. And we are making the temperature say 25 degrees centigrade or 76 degree Fahrenheit. The second parameter for air conditioning is RH. The RH should be 50% as per standard. You can maintain in between 30 to 60%. And the third parameter to get air conditioning is cleanliness cleanliness of air and cleanliness of air can be done uh, by using a device called filters but this is not the end in order to get the air conditioning we also we must also maintain proper motion and distribution distribution of air so motion refers to the velocity so you must maintain the standard velocity as per human comfort and you must take care for proper distribution of air and this proper distribution of air we can achieve by using the circuit called ducts a, a ducting we use and with the ducting we can uniformly arrange uh, the A terminals and through this A terminals we can supply the air. That we'll discuss in uh, uh, the HVC uh, ducting module. Next finally we must maintain the noise level and the noise level should be less than 35 decibel as per human comfort. So if you maintain, if you establish all this and maintain these parameters then you can say air conditioning is done. Okay. So here as per definition, air conditioning is a process of treating air in an in internal environment in order to establish and maintain required standards of temperature, humidity, cleanliness, motion and distribution of air and no doubt the noise level. Uh, next we'll talk about applications of HVAC. So as you know, HVAC is one of the building service. So this can be used in many applications. So if you talk about the list of applications, the list will be lengthy because application of HVAC is wide. For example, this air conditioning can be used in residential, can be used in commercial project, can be used for industrial side, can be used for automobile, etc. So the list will continue. So this application is divided into two categories. Here, if you design the air conditioning and if the prime concern is home, then we can call as comfort application. And under comfort application, you can find here some examples are given. Here you can find out this uh, uh, residential projects. Uh, then retail fa uh, facilities, commercial and public buildings, tall buildings, hotel, education, healthcare, etc. So if you are designing air conditioning, if the prime concern is women, comfort, then this com comes under comfort application. Next, the second category here is industrial application. And if you design air conditioning, if the prime concern is for process like 
uh, laboratories, clean rooms, printing plants, textile, etc., for a particular machine to work in an efficient way and to extract the heat, to maintain the desired conditions for the process for the machine. So that comes under that comes under industrial application. Hmm. So if you talk about application of air conditioning or say HVAC, the, this is used in residential projects, in uh, commercial projects, as well as in industrial sites. So in almost all the areas, we will find the application of air conditioning. So next we'll talk about the syllabus in this uh, training program. So we are offering a uh, total five modules in this uh, HVAC training program. Uh, the module one is a designing. So you know what is designing. So the design includes the calculation. Then in module two, we'll cover AutoCAD 2D, which is required for drafting. And next you can see on screen, this module three is for HVC drafting. After learning H uh, this AutoCAD, you can deal with the HVC drafting. So in AutoCAD, you're going to learn how to draw. In HVC drafting, you're going to learn what to draw, the technical part. Hmm. Next, we'll talk about this HVC installation in Module 4 and finally, we'll end with the Module 5 with the HVC distribution. So, let me provide you uh, the major topics of this uh, modules in the next slide. So, here, first, uh, the software includes what are the software we are offering. Uh, you can find Carrier HAP, which is commonly used for the load calculation. Uh, in short, we used to call HAP, it's our analysis program. Then, we find Autodesk Design Review, which can be used for metal takeoff for markers for use for estimation next AutoCAD uh, you know for drafting then Zamil e-selected machine selection which will use for machine selection software it's a machine selection software next McVay duct sizer for duct sizing then McVay pipe sizer for pipe sizing means I'm talking about chill water pipe sizing next pump excel programs first we'll deal with the manual pump selection then with the help of excel program to save the time next fan static pressure excel program for fan selection next pdf exchanger to prepare the reports uh, for different areas next includes asha clarity data which which can help you to get the information for weather for load calculation next carrier psychometric software manual plus software this is carrier psychometric software next a terminal selection software like the beta program tyco etc next boq for excel for this estimation next the project included here so we'll start this with a sample project next we'll talk about this villa project then in that at the time of dealing have we are using the school project then tower project for estimation and total projects a completed project for your study so now let me give you the brief idea about the syllabus with the major topics so here in designing uh, we we'll consider as module one uh, the major topics are the HVC basics first, we start with the basics, then the type of air conditioning system like from the window uh, with the chill water system, next psychometry, uh, here building survey uh, in order to get the information about the project to start with any service, we deal with the building survey and next very important and a bit lengthy cooling and heating load calculation with manual as well as the software with the software calculation, next our analysis program have, then next machine selection, then we'll deal with the duct sizing manual as well as with the uh, software, duct sizer software. Uh, we are covering manual, uh, the idea is to get the concept and uh, the software we are using and uh, to get uh, involved in job. Next, the one more major topic still water pipe sizing again with the manual as well as with the uh, software. Next, pump selection, one of the most important topic. Then we'll deal with the fan selection and much more. Then if you talk about this AutoCAD, here in AutoCAD, first introduction, then the draw tools which is used to draw the components, then the modify tools, then dimensions which is required for any service, then creating layers uh, to hide or show the components, then plotting which is required to take the prints, next exercises and much more in AutoCAD 2D. Then the next we will deal with the HVC drafting. So in HVC drafting we will deal with the single line as well as double line hmm, uh, specifically for the engineers. Hmm. So here introduction to HVC drafting hmm, in that uh, legends abbreviations a terminals, how to draw this supply diffuser, return a diffuser, etc. Next, duct fittings, different types of duct fittings like elbow, 90 degree elbow, 45 degree elbow, shoe neck, trouser, flexible, etc. Next, conversion of uh, the civil multi color drawing to single color, which is required to start the service. Next, XRF scaling of the drawing, then single line, which is required the initial stage for the duct designing. So, we'll go for the single line drawing first for ducting as well as for piping. Then, double line drawing for the ducting, which is required for detailing. Next, insulation on duct that includes thermal and acoustic, then single line piping and double line piping, then sections, etc. So, these are the major topics in the drafting, specifically for uh, drafting uh, by engineers. Next, printing and plotting techniques. So, with this uh, HVC drafting, we'll move to this uh, installation. So, installation you can find here the chiller installation, uh, H installation, uh, FCU installation, duct installation, which is required for a site engineer, then fine fan installation pipe installation, pump installation, etc. 
So this installation topic uh, is very very useful if you join as a site engineer initially. Hmm. On the designing side, we can deal with the you can uh, find as a design engineer. Then module five will cover with the estimation. So under estimation, you'll find the duct estimation, how much sheet metal is required to fabricate the duct. We'll calculate in duct estimation. Then chill water pipe installation. The number of pipes, the pipe dia fittings and all will cover in this uh, chill water pipe uh, estimation. Then duct and pipe fittings, which is also important. Next BOQ, how to read the BOQ, how to prepare the BOQ, bill of quantity. Next A side equipments like AHU, uh, FCO, etc. The water side equipment like pump, uh, like uh, chill water uh, chillers, etc. Then uh, here some course highlights. Uh, we are offering this uh, training in classroom and uh, live online and video mode. Mm. So if you are in Hyderabad, you can directly join our classes in the classroom. If you are not in Hyderabad, don't worry. You can join from anywhere, any part of the world through this online facility. So live only is not recorded. And if you want, you can go for the video video mode training also. Next job assistance will help you to get the job like uh, preparing the resume, like uh, different company addresses, interview questions, etc. Next, the BIM concept, uh, the basic of BIM concept also be covered with all the services. Next, project include all the services. Uh, when we are dealing with HVAC, uh, we are dealing with the HVAC and the basic of the service, the interaction for coordination point of view. And the faculty who is who will provide this training is a Gulf uh, experienced faculty. Next, detailed step by step notes you can expect uh, with all the details that will help you uh, for your uh, revision and for your preparation. Next, we'll cover this training right from the basic to advanced level. Uh, basic, uh, we'll learn to understand the concept and end with the advanced level, including the software. Next, concept based training because concept is important to learn with any service because nothing is fixed, different projects, different application, different requirement, etc. Next, we're dealing with the lesser software. Then, training includes designing as we discussed, drafting, estimation, and installation. So, that is the help of designing and drafting, you can appoint a consultant site for designing design, as a design engineer. And with installation, you can appoint as a site engineer. And with estimation, you can appoint as an estimation engineer also. Next, online assistance uh, for classroom as well as for online people. Next, the classroom is digital if you're working in a, if you're in a learning in the classroom. Then, we'll also help to motivate. And for more details, uh, you can contact our website that is smthvac or smtmep.com. You can find on screen, and you can also message on WhatsApp that the number is you can find on screen that is plus nine one India code nine eight four eight six double nine five three five, and you can also email with the given email info at smtmep.com. Okay, and we are offering as I said the classroom training live online as well as video. So thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this.